If you're an agent who is struggling with his or her marketing, you're going to want to stick around because I'm going to go over an example that I received in the mailbox today that is much better than the example we had the other day. If you don't remember, a couple of days ago, we went over the Mass Bay Tree gigantic postcard and we did a critique on it. Today, I have a new postcard that came in the mail. and This one's much better. There's still some tweaks that could be made to it to improve its performance. But if you are curious how to effectively put out a postcard that's going to get a response, or at least be kept around to get a response later, you're going to want to stick around. I'm Ryan Cook, the broker owner of Smart First Class Realty, and I'm a marketing geek. I love marketing. In my bookcase, I literally have three ring binders full of marketing examples and marketing letters, etc. I keep... See, here's a cool one I got a couple of years ago. A yellow letter campaign. I keep them. I love marketing and I love talking about it with the agents. And that's why we have a marketing club here, Home Smart First Class Realty. And if you're not getting that type of service in your broker and you're paying a split, you need to consider a different broker. Okay. Today's example. I received another card that is probably six and a half inches by 11 inches. So this one I said was about uh, nine and a half by 10. Today I received the card and painting company. Classic look painting, another nice glossy card, another one using every door direct mail. So you can see, let me back up so you can see them both. These are both gigantic cards. So let's go over the elements of this one. If you take a look, classic look painting, they have samples of homes. I'm guessing those are homes that they painted, but here are a couple of key things that classic look painting did very well. So they have their logo. So it clearly identified who they are. And then they have. It's really hard to see it with my ring light, but keep this coupon and save on your next painting project. There's the first thing that is much better than what Mass Bay Tree did. All right, now they explain what it is. Save 10% on any interior or exterior painting job when you present this card. Offer expires May 31st, 2024. So that's a long time out. They did a great job by offering a coupon. Remember one of the questions I asked the other day, where's the offer? There wasn't one on this card. What would make us keep this card on our refrigerator for the time when we need service? There isn't one. So what's going to end up happening is this one. And again, I am not making fun of Mass Bay Tree. I'm just trying to demonstrate a marketing principle and the difference because both of these are every door direct mail examples. For Mass Bay Tree, there was no offer, so there was no reason for me to hold on to this card. Now, I'm keeping it for an example of marketing, but the average consumer would not keep it. Now, a classic look painted did very well. Logo, let us know there's a coupon. Let us know what the coupon is and an expiration date. Today is March 24th, 2023. This offer is good till May 31st, 2024. I think the, the offer expiration is too far out and so people are going to forget it and it's going to limit their response they also have a disclaimer check us out on the web at classicwithpainting.com all very good stuff still some tweaks that could be made to it on the back again we have every door direct mail this is going to everybody on this particular delivery route it's rob at classic look painting so it says here save 10 percent with this coupon called rob today for free estimate in your painting project we have until May 31st, 2024, so that offer is too far away. So the urgency isn't really there. It says a classic look painting. We've been painting homes for 20 years. During that time, we've built the reputation of the area's top residential painting company. Our customers call us back because they know to expect painters who are considerate and professional whose attention to detail is second to none. And then a replication of their logo on this side. I don't know if Rob at Classic Look Painting put this together or someone was advising him. Either way, much better than what Mass Bay Tree did. He's going to get some business from this. As opposed to Mass Bay Tree, the only business they would get is somebody who had a tree fall down like that weekend. There are a couple things we could improve in this. So they have pictures here of jobs that have been done. And they're on, they got a, a dining room, but it's dark. So it's a lot of shadow. We got an exterior and exterior, and then a much more difficult interior carpentry painting job to show the sort of detail they can get. So that one's good. They, they could have done a better job of picking out examples, but I think they missed the boat before and after shots. 
those would be much more effective. I, I know this one was built in the late nineties or early two thousands because we got the big palladium window. We got a gambled cape. We have another large colonial. What I get from this is that they're geared towards larger homes, which may be or may not be what they're trying to accomplish, the message they're trying to present. Now, if they are, if that's the message they're trying to, to present, they picked out good examples of homes. But I think what they missed the boat were before and after shots. And one good before and after or two good before and after should suffice. I think this is a little bit cluttered, and I think there's a lot of lost real estate space in the side here. All right, so we missed some opportunities. And the save 10%, it's very bland. It doesn't jump out at you. So keep this coupon and save any next painting project. I think while that's good, it could be bigger. It could be a color that stands out, some sort of alert or offer or something, but it should stand out more. And they have the, this disclaimer. So they have the offer expires and they have the disclaimer. This disclaimer should be on the back side. It shouldn't be on the front. And then on the back. It's great to hear from Rob, the owner, but what I would say is where he missed the opportunity here, people don't believe what you tell them. They believe what other people say about you, where he missed the boat on the backside here. He could certainly have his picture and I think he should probably stand up. He's got a good company and he's doing a good job marketing here where he could improve this is this was a place where he should have been putting testimonials or redirecting to a site with testimony to see more testimonials go to landing page with videos of his testimonials where they go back afterwards and they actually video the clients to show that they did a successful job and the clients were happy. That would be more effective. And so where he missed the boat on the back here is utilizing actual testimonials because he says he's the area's top residential painting company, but it, it's more believable when it comes from a client, from their testimonials. Everything matches with his branding. Uh, so. Uh, within his branding, he's got this red, he's got this uh, gray with the brush and the handle and some charcoal. And so everything here color-wise matches his branding, which is very good. Utilizing every door direct mail and postal mail campaigns and having a reason for me to keep the card because there is an offer on here for 10% off. So in summary. Good job branding. I think you missed the opportunity to show before and after, which would be more effective. The disclaimer should be on the backside. And he missed the opportunity to have client testimonials here and then drive them where he's got classiclookpainting.com. He should have a check on our testimonials at classiclookpainting.com slash testimonials, or he could take the opportunity to get a uh, custom URL. And if he were getting testimonials online through Yelp or something to use a, use a custom URL to drive the traffic to Yelp, even better would be to a landing page where he has testimonials, both written and uh, video spoken where people can look and they can then book the opportunity to have an appointment as well. So I think that's where he missed the boat where this could be a little bit better, but overall a much, much better example of utilizing a direct mail campaign. Uh, through every door direct mail. So I just wanted to show you that if you are a real estate agent looking up your marketing game, you're not getting the results you want from your business and it could because agents are not marketing, reach out to me. And my offer to you is we have a $129 sign on fees because all the paperwork it takes is a lot of time to actually spin you up and get you on board and get you on board and, and all that sort of stuff. So I'll waive the $129 uh, onboarding fee. When you mention this video, we're going to go ahead and we are going to get you three real estate signs. So bring your existing signs in. We will send those out to get those reskinned and rebranded for you. And what I'm going to do in addition, because I was evaluating the offer I had made previously, and I didn't think it was good enough, quite frankly. So for most agents, we have three plans in our office. We have a basic pro and wheat. Large bulk of agents are on the basic plan, which is the classic home smart plan, fixed monthly fee in just a small transaction fee. Uh, our fee is $59 a month, very low, very affordable. What I'll do is if you reach out to me as a result of this video and mixing this video, we'll go ahead and we will uh, eliminate that monthly fee for six months. So you'll get six months free, you get three free rebranded signs and we will waive your sign-on fee. So $129 sign-on fee waived $59. 
times six, 354, and then three free rebranded signs. And we will get you onboarded, squared away, and start to get your marketing game up and going. Because in a tough market, you need to be branding yourself and you need to be marketing. And if you're not, you're going to struggle. And it's a good chance in a low inventory market that you may not be around in six months or a year. And we need to change that. So I'd love to talk to you. We are geared towards entrepreneur agents, not really brand new newbie agents. I'm Ryan Cook, Home Smart First Class Realty. We would love to talk to you. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue as examples come in of marketing to evaluate them and see how, how these companies are doing well or not doing well and how you can apply those same principles to your business.